the last video we discussed about that uh, how to enter the master stock item in stage 50 so in this video we're gonna enter different other stock items like how you, you will enter the descriptions only how you will maintain the services item how you will maintain the labor item or activity item or the charge item in Sage 50 accounting so first we have description only that is only a description like thank you for your business have a nice day so these are what are descriptions that gonna be mentioned in your invoices which you want to enter in your invoices so how to create this item class description only here so you need to click you need to go to the maintain tab and in maintain tab we have this inventory item and in the inventory item you need to give a unique item ID so these are our existing stock record so I'm gonna give a unique ID uh, for example this one we already created that 7001 thank you for your business that is only a description so I, I want to create a new one 7001 and that is have a nice day that is only a description and the item class is description only and then save it the next one we have installation services that how you will create the installation services and the item classes services so first we need to check that uh, do we already created this uh, item class or no so that is installation services here so the item ID I gave that is 3000 and description is installation services comes under the item class service that is the same price level you can maintain the price level for different customers that is the last unit cost and here you need to enter the GL sales account that is 401 enter and here you need to mention the GL sell your wages account I'm gonna enter the wages account 902 enter and that is a cost of goods sold account I'm gonna enter 501 and that is SKU used stock keeping unit uh, that uh, item type because uh, that is only a services location uh, stock unit measurement not applicable right now and then save it then another one that is delivery services we have and the item classes services so I'm gonna enter 3001 enter and that is delivery services and again it comes under the services the GL account uh, the sales account that is 401 that is a sales account salaries and wages that is a wages expense account and uh, cost of uh, cost of, uh, of sales account that is purchases and then you can save it so that is how you will uh, create that uh, so the service item in Sage 50 then we, if your company providing the labor like uh, we have to produce something and for that we need to uh, manage some wages so that is our wages cost so how do you will create that uh, the item class in uh, Sage 50 so for example we have this uh, production labor and it comes under the item class labor so I'm gonna give here 4000 enter that is production labor the item class that is labor you can set up a price level for that here you need to enter the GL sales account that is 401 enter the wages account 902 enter and cost of goods sold 501 enter and uh, these are the same that SKU units that the stock keeping units the item class that is a labor location that is in Dubai Sharjah or Rajman the location and stock unit measurement that how you will measure this the labor hours or the production labor and then save it 
again uh, next we have that our company they are also providing bookkeeping so that is an activity item so how to create this bookkeeping I'm gonna give 5000 a code I'll make set up a new entry 5000 is already there so I'm gonna enter 6000 for activity items enter and that is bookkeeping and it comes under the activity item and uh, because that is your income so you need to enter here the income account okay for example I'm gonna enter this and under this uh, services income account and then save it so you can create like bookkeeping services account uh, in the chart of account also right instead of but right now we didn't uh, we don't have that account but uh, the, uh, I'm, I'm gonna enter that in the services income account but you can create like here the jail account is 5 uh, 405 you can create 406 a, a bookkeeping services under the income account and save it and you can mention here the uh, the GL account so right now I'm gonna enter all those services under one head that is services income and then save it you can also mention the billing rate uh, if you're providing this bookkeeping services to multiple customers and on a different rate so you can maintain a billing rate for individual customer after that we need to create this weekly maintenance that is a charge item uh, that depends on the time period so how we create this uh, that the charge items in sage 50 you can create like uh, weekly maintenance quarterly maintenance or yearly maintenance so I need to give a unique jail account uh, that uh, item ID so let's suppose I'm gonna enter here 8000 tab and uh, that is the weekly maintenance account and that under the the charge items so that is weekly maintenance and that is a charge item and uh, that is a price level and that is a GL income account so you can create here an income account let's see if we have that no we don't have that so uh, you can create a new one and uh, in, it comes under the income so it uh, we can enter 406 enter and uh, you can give here the name maintenance income and it comes under the income and then save it similarly here you need to give the GL account ID that is 406 that is maintenance income enter and save it you can create a quarterly maintenance 8001 enter and that is what quarterly maintenance and that is also a charge item and here you need to enter the the same the income account uh, it depends on you you can create uh, I just created one account that maintenance income but if, if the client requirement is that uh, you want to create a separate income account for uh, weekly maintenance or quarterly maintenance or for the yearly maintenance so it depends on your client requirement so I, I just created only one GL account that is maintenance income and all those weekly or quarterly or yearly, uh, yearly maintenance that income values will go under this maintenance income account and then save it so that is how you set up or create uh, that the inventory or the stock in sage 50 and here we have like different item classes we covered almost all 
we created the stock item master stock uh, non-stock we didn't create it that is for like uh, office stationery uh, that is a non-stock item uh, description only that is only for the description then we have services the labor we will cover this assembly in a separate topic in the in the upcoming videos and uh, then we have this activity item and the charge items so that is how you enter the stock in sage 50